What are some like great coping tools? Is it different for seniors than it is for everybody else? Yes. So I, you know, when we think of coping mechanisms for you and I, we think of support from others, you know, being social, going out or engaging in activities. And if I'm an older person, either, you know, living in a skilled nursing facility or I'm not driving anymore, I have limited mobility, you know, limited physical activity. I'm not surrounded by the people who love me. Those coping mechanisms are going to be much different. The way that I approach this conversation with my 65 and over group who's experiencing some anxiety instead of saying, Hey, get on the headspace app or the aura app. Cause <laughs> they're going to look at me like I'm crazy. Is I say, we're going to go after this, these, these anxiety symptoms, the same way we go after preserving memory. So it's like brain health because mm. older folks are afraid of dementia and memory issues. And we know that anxiety is tied to that. So anxiety disorders are a risk factor for memory and cognitive decline issues. So I'll say to my older folks, here's the multi-prong approach we're going to use to combat some of your anxiety. And it's going to help your brain and your memory as well. So no real magic here, but exercise. So both aerobic and strength training, that's Mm. real. That's not voodoo. And you can be, you know, God bless you in a wheelchair and I can find home physical therapy or home occupational therapy who's going to give you an exercise regimen. So exercise, both aerobic and strength training mindfulness, that word means nothing to my older patients. So Mm -hmm. you have to say, what does mindfulness mean for you? How do you have quiet time in your space, in your head alone? Whether it's, Mm -hmm. you know, prayer, hot baths, candles, what, you know, time in nature, walking. So mindfulness, whatever it means to them. And then, you know, the third thing really is cognitive training. And by that, Mm -hmm. we mean, you know, using your brain in different ways. So coping mechanisms for Anxiety in older patients is really exercise, mindfulness, and cognitive training. Those are the things that have data to show us that they're going to help you lessen your anxiety symptoms and improve your memory and lower your risk of dementia and cognitive decline. 